Hey everyone, we're here in Portugal checking out this flatbed truck camper. It's a 1979 Bedford and it was built on a flatbed by adding metal arches, wood cross beams, and a canvas cover. It's insulated with sheep's wool. It has a bed, a couple of comfy chairs, two drop leaf tables, a propane cooker, a wood stove for heat, and a surprising amount of storage for such a small space. And the two canvas sides can roll up and that opens up the space to the outside. We just spent the night here and we'll give you a full tour. Let's go check it out. This truck camper is completely off grid, so the only way to get light in here is with candles, rechargeable LED lights, and with these two large windows. There is another window up front here, but it's covered by the rain cover right now. In the summer when it's warm, you can actually roll up the whole side of this truck um, and enjoy the view, get fresh air, and obviously have tons of natural daylight. But at night, once you roll everything down and put the window covers up, it's quite dark and cozy in here. We're not used to seeing a setup like this because in Canada, if you ever opened up the whole side of wherever you were living, your place would be filled with bugs right away. Uh, they don't even have a screen here, so I guess in Portugal, they don't have the same bug problem that we do back home. Uh, the other thing that's really nice when you roll it up is there's this flip down side panel, so it kind of extends the living space a bit, um, and it really blurs the line between indoor and outdoor living. There's a tiny little vintage gas cooker here. It's in such good shape that we actually thought maybe it was a toy when we first got here, but it does work. We did cook on it and it works great. So there's three burners and there's a small little uh, oven in here. And for heat, there's a wood stove behind this door. You can basically load it from the top or check on the fire from the top. And this is also kind of like an element, so you could have some water heating on here and kind of pre-boil it and then finish it on the gas stove if your fire's not hot enough. And then you can open it from the side to build your fire as well. And we were really glad to have this last night. It was seven degrees outside, but we were really toasty inside and we had a great night's sleep. We weren't sure how warm it was going to be in here um, because the walls are just canvas, but the ceiling is insulated with sheep's wool. And so I guess because the heat's rising, they've insulated it in kind of a strategic spot where most of the heat would escape. And then it's kind of a double canvas wall. So there's the unprotected canvas that's usually out in the summer. And then it's covered right now with a rain cover as well. The climate here is really mild and this is about as cold as it's gonna get. It's almost the end of December and uh, it's seven degrees. So that's why I think they can get away with such light insulation. This is a vacation rental and they tend to mostly use it in the summer when it's really nice out. And so they're not too concerned with keeping the heat in. I think it's probably quite the opposite. Um, rolling up the side probably helps keep this place nice and cool. The kitchen's pretty small, so as you can see, there's just a couple pots and pans hanging here, a couple more down under the oven. There's some plates and cups here, and there's lots of storage here for extra food. Um, for water, that's one thing that's missing in here. This is obviously more of a luxury camping setup than a full-time living situation, and so they've got an outdoor sink with a jug that you can use um, to do the dishes outside. And in the winter, we can boil some water and then add that to the cold water so that our hands aren't freezing when we're doing the dishes outside. We were surprised at how spacious the inside of this truck camper felt when we first came in. And what we really like is there's a couple of space saving tables in here. Um, this one folds up like that. And the table over here is a drop leaf so you can pull it out into the middle of the room and have a full size table. You could probably fit four people around here or you can have it up against the wall and fold this down and have a lot more living space. And then there's just two comfy chairs so you can move those around. Last night we had them around the fire so that we could stay warm. For breakfast you could have them here or around this table. So um, a lot of different options that makes it a really comfy living space. The truck's about seven feet wide, 12 feet long, and six foot four inches tall. So it's pretty spacious. And because of that extra width, the bed can be placed widthwise. So that saves you a lot of floor space, not having to put it lengthwise. And then above the bed, there's two storage cabinets for clothes and whatever else you want to put up there. Even a little bit of extra space above the cupboard so you could put books up here. These are the window covers. Okay. 
And then under the bed, there's a ton of space. Right now there's just this one old suitcase, but there's loads of space under there. I actually kind of like not filling the space under a bed, especially in a camping situation kind of like this, because you do get a lot of condensation um, when the temperatures are always getting heated up and cooled down. So you kind of want to have as much airflow as possible. You may have noticed there's no bathroom in here. Uh, so because this is a vacation rental, the bathroom is separate. There's a shower, toilet, and sink in the main house. If this was gonna be a permanent or long-term living situation for somebody, you could probably fit a compost toilet here and then just move the kitchen and make it a little bit smaller, or you could have an outhouse outside. Obviously, this is more of a fair weather camping situation, so going to the washroom in an outhouse outside or in another building is not that big of a deal. This flatbed truck camper kind of feels like a yurt on wheels because the structure is really similar. It has a simple wooden frame, wool insulation, and a canvas cover. And I've always really liked those three materials together. They're all natural. Um, it's a breathable wall system, and you can easily replace different components if you need to. Another thing that I love about this camper is the fact that you can roll up the two canvas sides. It's a feature we haven't seen in other alternative spaces like this, and we really like it because if you're in a climate that permits it, you just get a whole lot of light and fresh air into the space. Hope you enjoyed this video and checking out this flatbed truck camper with us. We absolutely loved it. And if you want to find out more, we found it on the Glamping Hub website. So we'll put a link to that in the description. If you want to see more alternative living spaces like this, please subscribe to our channel. We post a new video every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.